I want to show you how to do a warp float. I've got two different colors of warp thread on here and it makes a little bit of difference down here in my plain weave because you can see a little bit of the black going through and then a little bit of the red going through. But what if I really want to show off the fact that I've got a border of red over here? So I'm going to do a warp float. I'm going to use a pickup stick and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to pick up every other red warp thread that is down. And I think I'll also go ahead and do it on the black as well. So I just go through and I use my pickup stick and I pick up every other warp thread. I'm going to turn my pickup stick and if I had a bigger stick, I think I might have a bigger one with me, I wouldn't have to do this little part of it, but I'm going to go ahead and use this one. I'm just going to pick that up and pull it up high like that. And I'm going to use that as a different shed to throw my warp through. So see how I've created a new shed here with these strings up? And what that's going to do, sorry, by picking those up, now when I turn my heddle and I beat those in, you can't see it quite as much yet because of the, um, the way that it's, um, this is such thin yarn. But I'm going to throw this back through again. And when I come to that same shed again, I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick up every other warp thread just like we did before. Pick them up with that pickup stick. And if you've got good eyesight, you can do this real fast. I've got trifocals, so it's a little bit of a challenge. But I've got that new shed now that I'm going to throw that through. Bring my thread on through. Throw it back the opposite direction. And let's do that one more time with the pickup stick because then you'll be able to see what's happening. Every other warp thread. Throw this through under those threads. Beat it in, throw one more back the other way. And now you can start to see what's happening. It's causing that red and blue or black to come to the front of my fabric. So here, instead of just a plain white fabric, plain weave like we had down here, I've got a white fabric with a highlight of red and black. And then I can continue on with my fabric and we'll have just these nice little stitches showing out in my fabric and that's called a warp float because we're floating that warp up to the top of our fabric and you can do that in all kinds of combinations you can do it um, just once or twice if you're working with real thick yarn and you just want to show a little pop of color or you can do it multiple times um, what I would probably do if I were going to continue on this is to make a little more of this plain weave fabric and then I would go in and use my pickup stick and instead of picking up these threads I'd pick up the ones in the middle and stagger them to make a pattern. So you can do all kinds of patterning on a rigid heddle. You just have to think about what you want to accomplish and how you want to bring those warp or weft threads to the surface.